In this video, we'll talk about Rab proteins in context of vesicular trafficking. So the Rab proteins are small monomeric GTPases which range about 20 to 25 kilodalton in terms of molecular weight. So Rab acts as a molecular switch cycling between the GTP bound active state and GDP bound inactive state. So in the GTP bound state, Rab protein is active. And in GDP bound state, Rab protein is inactive. And this is pretty common for any small uh, GTPAs or monomeric GTPAs. There are about 60 different type of Rab proteins present in human. And each of these Rab proteins are specific to one type of intracellular membrane. In a moment, we would try to understand that in details. So here we can see an empirical structure of the Rab GTP and here the phosphate group is held tight with uh, the interaction with two particular residues glycine 60 and threonine 35 between the switch 1 and switch 2 helix. Now what happens is when there is a hydrolysis of GTP it switch and two helix actually swings away from each other and this is how the conformation changes. So the switching between an active and inactive state is augmented or accelerated by two proteins, GAP or GTPase activator protein, which inactivates the Rab proteins and GIF, which activates the Rab because it is a guanosine nucleotide exchange factor. It exchanges GTP in place of GDP. Now let us try to understand how snare complex and Rab are crucial for vesicle fusion. So here is a vesicle that is about to fuse to this target membrane. So there are two components that are required for tethering and fusion. One is basically the snares. So there are vesicle bound snares or V snares. There are membrane bound snares or target membrane bound snares known as T snares. And also there are proteins like Rab. So Rab and Rab effector is an important molecular matchmaker that dictates the targeting of a vesicle to a particular membrane. Now in a moment it would be it would be emphasized why this is really really important in context of vesicular trafficking when we see the big picture. But Rab helps in tethering the vesicle and the way it happens is by Rab binding to the Rab effector present in the target membrane. So two component interaction. One is snare mediated interaction, another is Rab and Rab effector mediated interaction. These two in interaction make sure the vesicle fusion happens in a specific manner to a specific membrane. Now this is how the inter internal part of the cell look like. This is the original photo which tells how crowded the internal environment of a cell is. You can see there are multiple vesicles interspersed between endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi etc. And it's literally impossible to like uh, understand for a vesicle that where to uh, basically fuse. So the cell's interior is extremely congested. A vesicle can encounter different type of membrane in during its course of journey. But how does a vesicle identify the correct membrane to dock? That's the big question and Rab helps in this process. So as if each vesicle is having their own radar system and Rab is acting like that radar. So that image that I was talking about was actually reconstructed from this electron microscopy image. Just take a moment to appreciate how crowded the internal environment of a cell is. So in this context, trafficking vesicle is ultra difficult. And that is, that is how the Rab come into the picture. They are molecular radars actually. So just to give you some specific idea, any vesicle that is bound from ER to Golgi RAP1 is essential for these targeting. In contrast, any vesicle that is coming from the endocytotic vesicle and becoming the early endosome, RAB5 is the key RAB in that context. So each of the different type of vesicles or intracellular component would have their own RABs. There could be some overlap, but there could be specificity. Just to give you some example of several RABs, so the endoplasmic reticulum and cis Golgi has RAB1, Rab2 is present uh, in cis Golgi as well. Trans Golgi has Rab6 and Rab9. Early endosome has Rab5, whereas late endosome has Rab7. 
Lysosome has Rav7, 26 and 39. Autophagosomes has Rav5 and Rav7. So obviously we can understand that different type of membrane compartment has their own Rabs which help them to target to a specific uh, membrane. Anyway, Rab is really essential for vesicular identity. This is even an um, important function of Rab. So we looked at the navigation function of Rab. It helps the vesicle to dock and tether to a specific membrane. But there was an experiment where Rab5 was deleted. In a Rab5 null situation, there was complete disappearance of entire endolysosomal system. That means the endosome and the lysosome are indistinguishable from any other vesicles. So the organelle identity is gone. That's how Rab is important. Now, there are specific uh, Rabs present in different components in terms of so some of the component evolves into other component. For example, a early endosome eventually becomes an late endosome in, 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 a, in a timeline. So in that context, the Rab5 domain gets eventually replaced by the Rab7 domains and this helps to make a new identity of that particular vesicular compartment. How does that happen? It all begins with a Rab cascade. So imagine two situations, early endosome and late endosome, and early endosome would eventually become the late endosome and replace all the Rabs in the early endosome, right? So Rab5 eventually activates all Rab effectors. Among the Rab effectors, there is also GIF. But this GIF is not for the Rab5. This GIF is for the Rab7. Eventually, this GIF, GIF activates Rab7. Rab7 triggers its own Rab effectors. Among them, one is the gift for another upcoming rab and there is a gap which uh, give a negative feedback to the rab5. So this is how the rab5 is now depleted. All the rab effectors of rab5 are depleted. Rab7 comes into the play and eventually this cascade goes on. So this rab cascade ensures the identity of different membrane compartments inside the cell and this is a really important concept. So I hope this video was useful and we learned how RAB, a small a monomeric GTP is protein help in vesicular trafficking. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. You can get more notes and flashcards in our Facebook page or Instagram page. All the links are provided in the description. You can also practice questions. There are tons and tons of MCQ questions that you can practice from all these courses. Links are also provided in the description. See you in next video. Please support our channel using super thanks. Your small contribution is our motivation.